Hello everyone, my name is Atsisi Pumbingileli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we'll be answering this question, um, question 3.3 based on um, circuits, series and parallel circuits. This specific question is from the worksheet that I'm selling. So if you don't know already, I'm selling grade 8 and grade 9 natural sciences worksheet. Um, worksheet B consists of topic test um covering term three and term four content um, and it is available so you can click the link in my bio or the description box um, to purchase the worksheet or you can even uh, purchase it through whatsapp so you can send me a whatsapp message the number is in um, the description box um, in order to purchase the worksheet. So let's go through it. There's a number of questions, different types of questions in the worksheet, guys. Multiple choice, terminology, uh, matching columns, um, filling in spaces, um, short and long questions. There is calculation questions in natural sciences and even skills questions such as drawing of tables, uh, drawing of graphs, analyzing both tables and graphs, um, drawing biological diagrams, and all of that so if you have not purchased it already please kindly do and thank you so much to everyone that has purchased um, uh, the worksheet and thank you so much for your positive feedback all right let us look at this question so it says study the parallel circuit below okay so study the parallel circuit below um, and answer the questions that follow the EMF of the battery, they are giving us as 5V, okay? So, obviously, by now, you should know the components of your um, circuit. You should know exactly um, the difference between uh, a parallel circuit and also a series circuit. You should know the symbols by now. So, this should be easy. So, how does the brightness compare in each bulb? So, what we're having here is a cell with the voltage, then we are having three light bulbs connected in parallel, and there's also three ammeters that are connected in series or in line with um, the bulbs, right? So 331 is asking us, how does the brightness compare in each bulb? So since this is um, a parallel circuit, uh, that means that uh, all the bulbs are going to have the same or equal brightness. So all the bulbs all the bulbs have the same or you could have said equal uh, brightness okay that is one mark um, okay that's fine <laughs> all right write down the voltage provided by the cell the voltage provided by the cell is given to us, so that will be 5V. One mark for that. Easy piece of stuff, right guys? Easy piece of stuff. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, and to share the link of this video with your classmates and your schoolmates, and also comment down below if there's specific topics that you would want me to cover in my videos, or specific question papers that you would like me to answer, please indicate all of that in the comment section. 333, um, which ammeter has the lowest reading? So between the three ammeters, A1, A2, and A3, which one has the lowest reading? And you need to give a reason for that answer. All right, so we know that as a resistance increases, the current is going to decrease. So the bulb with the highest resistance is um, the, the one with four. Um, so that means A3 is the one with um, the lowest reading. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, lowest reading is A3. And the reason for that is as resistance increases, resistance increases, um, what happens to the current? The current decreases. And we know that the ammeter measures the current okay so how would this be marked it's a two-part question you answer about the ammeter first then you give a reason for your answer 
Let's move on to the next question. Calculate the total resistance of the circuit for three marks. I'm going to calculate it over here. Remember, we calculate the total resistance for a parallel circuit differently compared to a series circuit. Sorry, our formula one over RP is equals to R1 plus R2 plus one over R3. Remember, this is how we calculate the total resistance for um, a parallel circuit. So you then substitute what you are given, 1 over 4. Then you enter all of it um, on your calculator. You should be getting, um, I think it's 7 over 4. Then you flip it to 4 over 7. You should be getting 0 0.5 seven ohms all right three marks um one two three with the unit the end <clears throat> sorry explain why this type of circuit is appropriate for the connection in houses now this type of connection is perfect or appropriate because if one bulb goes out if one bulb goes out, um, the others will still work. The other bulbs will still work or will remain on. Or you could have said, um, because this one uses less overall power, uses less overall power so how many marks two marks so if one bulb one bulb goes out the other bulbs will still work sorry or it will just be two marks if you answered um with the second option of saying it uses less overall power all the best